Are you running into the issue of trying to spend money with Google, not getting impressions, not getting clicks? Well, this video should be the answer to what you're looking for. I'm going to walk you through as a Google ad ads manager myself, walk you through what we see when a campaign is not getting impressions, it's not getting clicks, what we do, what we look for, and this should help resolve the issue that you're facing right now. So let's get into it. All right, so we are in the Google Ads account. We're gonna be looking at just a brand new roofing company, just not getting impressions and what you should be looking for, what you should be doing, why it may not be getting impressions. So let's jump right into it, guys. The first thing that we typically see as a Google Ads agency where we audit accounts very, very frequently is not enough bid or wrong bid strategy. And so let me explain. So if you're running a roofing campaign, roofing is extremely competitive, but so is a lot of other home service companies as well as other industries. In 2024, guys, uh, and, and going into 2025 here soon, most industries are extremely competitive now. There's a lot of competitors running it. There's a lot of people doing it. And Google actually has jacked up the price a little bit on keywords just naturally, even though there may not be as much comp competition in your area. But here's the thing. So if we're looking at roofing, right, we're going to go over to the roofing campaign and we're going to, or sorry, the keyword research, and we're going to go ahead and look for um, for the our location, and we're going to go ahead and see what the volume is. So if we're looking up roofing company near me, roofing company St. Louis, roofing installation near me, just roofing installation, uh, you guys can be looking up, uh, you know, if you guys do roof replacements, or you guys looking at, at focusing on metal roofing, um, something like that, but we're going to go ahead and get results here. And what we can see here is that our average monthly search volume for a roofing company near me is about 4,400, 2,400 for roofing company St. Louis. Near me is 50, 90, and then metal roofing is about 1,000. Although metal roofing is not a very quality keyword, we want to include that just to, 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 to show you guys. So what we're seeing here is our top of the page low range is $10.50, $13, $12, and $3. High range is $57, $66, $32, $15. $32. This is 71, this is 56, this is 56, this is 66. Um, and we, we're not really looking at siding. But what this is telling me, guys, is when you look at this, there is absolutely no way that you're going to get keyword clicks and impressions with anything less than $13 here. Anything. Potentially metal roofing. Um, but if you guys are looking at running phrase match and exact match, and that's something we'll jump into in just a sec. But if you guys are running phrase and exact match, there's absolutely no way you're going to get clicks below this. You may get some impressions, may get some impressions, but don't expect to spend your full budget. You guys need to bid competitively. Google's giving you this uh, information so you guys can bid competitively. If I was this company running it in St. Louis, what I would do is I would probably start to bid at $30 calls per click, right in the middle, uh, run it there, see if you can get some clicks, see if you can get some impressions. Now, if you guys do run a manual bidding strategy, you guys can actually uh, bid higher or less per keyword. So metal roofing, you guys could actually bid $7 there and be very, very comfortable. Um, that would be good as well. But you guys are going to want to test some different things out, but you need to bid higher. Look at the keyword research. Look at your location. Now, if you guys are looking at your location and say um, you guys are you know, looking at your location and it's just not showing with enough it's not showing up with enough data. Sometimes these keywords aren't gonna, you know, they're not they're not gonna populate. Look at a bigger radius, guys. Um, you know, like with Fenton, it's just such a small radius. We wanna look at the St. Louis area. And even though we're not targeting this whole area, it's more like this area, we still are getting a good idea of what it does cost in the whole area. So um, that's my one tip on keyword research. Make sure you're looking at the top of the page bids, guys. Now, there's no need to bid, you know, $60 there. Try to see if you can get some clicks with $20, $30, $40, and you're going to hit a sweet spot and then run it there. So first tip is bid, just simply bid higher. The next tip is you guys may be running a uh, incorrect bidding strategy at the beginning. So what I hear a lot and what I hear often is people want to run conversion-based bidding strategies, target CPA, maximize conversions, maximize conversion value right off the start. However, Google doesn't have that data in order to know what's considered a conversion for you. And it might sound a little silly that Google doesn't know what a conversion is for you yet, but you haven't trained the AI on what that conversion means to you. Different companies target different conversions. 
Now, what we tar what we consider conversion to max conversion is uh, phone calls, form submissions, not page views, not time spent on page, not you know you know they're bouncing around your website. We consider it people who submitted a form that are a lead, somebody who is a new business opportunity. However, some companies don't do it right. Uh, some companies simply have their conversion strategy set up wrong, or they're just tracking different conversions. So Google just doesn't know what it is for you guys. So you need to train them. So if you guys started your campaign, new campaign, and you guys are running a, uh, you're either running maximized conversions or conversion value or target CPA, stop that right now. The way you want to start a campaign is either with max clicks, put on a general max CPC that you want to run, or you run manual, which you select here, and then you go to manual. Um, enhanced is going away shortly. So just running manual CPC is totally okay. Uh, it works really well. We do it all the time here. So change your bidding strategy, look at how much you're spending, and a lot of times that is gonna resolve the issue. However, you do that, it doesn't resolve the issue, you know, you're bidding, uh, say you're bidding $70 per click, and you're still not getting clicks, there's likely something else going on. And so the things we're gonna wanna look at are, um, we're gonna wanna look at your ad types. So a lot of times what we see with the ad types is people want to try and run call ads and nowadays call ads don't really serve in the Google search results as much anymore. Um, there are certain industries such as towing and roadside assistance where they do show up more frequently. However, in roofing or home service or just general services, a lot of times they just don't show up guys. So you need to be running responsive search ads. So if you guys are running a call ad here, uh, I would stop that now because likely that is the reason you're not getting impressions or clicks is Google is just not serving your call ad even though you're bidding extremely, extremely high. Audiences are a very common approach and uh, a way to kind of narrow your targeting in on your Google Ads campaign. And if we hear it all the time is, well, I only want to target people in this zip code. I only want to target these type of demographic. I, wanted, I want to target very, very specific. And I would recommend against that at the very beginning of a campaign because if you target very specific guys, you're narrowing your reach a lot. And sometimes you don't know what works with Google Ads until you test it. So if you guys are running Google Ads, make sure you know you guys understand that testing is gonna be important to the success of your campaign. But what I see often is people adding audience segments and putting it on targeting and then putting you know three different, three different segments and only targeting those. Guys, that's just not gonna work a lot of times. You're gonna narrow the reach of your campaign. Now, something you can do instead is if you still wanna get that data and see who is working for you and what audiences is really you know, driving their good results and low cost per lead and high conversion rate, you can always put on observation mode and you can actually select every single one of these audiences. Uh, go into each one, you can go into browse, you can select all of these, you can select the subcategories, you can do all that. Uh, and that's no problem at all. That is not gonna narrow the reach of your campaign. It's simply on observation mode. So look at that. Um, something that we commonly do in our campaigns is our, we do remove 18 to 24 year olds. Uh, we've noticed these, these individuals is not performing very well, which is totally okay. However, where we've seen some, some uh, discrepancy is people removing specific genders, people removing unknown age. So there's unknown uh, at the end. So people, because they want to they know who's clicking on their ad, removing unknown, um, only targeting the top 10% or top, uh, top 25% um, or targeting, you know, top, you know, removing everybody in the lower 50%. That's just not a good idea, guys. Um, you can do that later in the campaign, but do not do that at the start of the campaign. A lot of times it's going to narrow your reach too much to where even though you're spending high, there's just not enough volume for you to get those clicks that you do want. So um, make sure that your audiences and your demographic uh, don't add too many bid adjustments and exclusions in the campaign right off the start. Keep it very broad and then you're going to narrow it as, as it goes in. Um, the next thing really is locations. So with locations, guys, the key here is to target a wide enough radius for your, your volume that you have for your keyword. So some industries have more volume than others, right? Roofing is going to have a lot more than... Um, then a different industry like concrete, uh, it's just naturally people are looking for roofing replacements more than concrete. Uh, however, concrete does still have a lot, um, but you know, different industries do have different amounts of volume in traffic. So make sure you're targeting a wide enough radius. Um, what we've seen here often is that people are just wanting to target zip codes. Um, and when you just target zip codes, what you guys do is you narrow your reach a lot. So if you are targeting zip codes, it's totally okay to go in here 
and add all these different zip codes. This is more than okay. However, have a and make sure it's all very uh, together. Uh, that's better. And then you can throw in a radius over it. But say, you know, we were talking out here. What I see a lot of people doing is they target this. They like that zip code. They like this zip code. They like this zip code. And they like this zip code. And that's it. And, you know, maybe this one over here. And you guys can see how spread out it is. Don't do that. Don't do that. You guys can do it later in the campaign, but at the very beginning, the theme here is guys keep it broad. Keep the uh, keep the campaign broad, and um, you can still narrow your reach, but don't narrow it too much to where you're impacting your campaign targeting and impressions, and you still want to get clicks. The next thing is, and last thing is, guys, keywords. So a lot of times, what we see with keywords is every people want to keep it in exact match. So we've got broad phrase and exact. Um, broad is a lot of times not recommended for new campaigns really at all. Uh, a lot of times it results in wasted spend, poor quality clicks, and so on and so forth. Broad is just not good. With the right strategy, it can be utilized properly. However, in 99% of campaigns nowadays, we do recommend phrase or exact match. Now, with exact match, uh, it's gotten a little bit looser over, over the years that Google Ads has been operating. However, sometimes that can still narrow the reach, guys. So if all your keywords are an exact match, um, you may want to consider opening it up to phrase match. Um, likely that's not the case, but you may want to look into that. Uh, don't run broad match without a, uh, serious, big negative keyword list. You're going to waste a lot of money. Uh, even though you get cheap cost per clicks guys, it's just not going to be worth it. A lot of times the conversion rate is going to be a lot lower. So try and run phrase and exact. Just that's kind of just a bonus tip. Um, but also if you guys are running phrase and exact match, um, make sure a lot of your negative keywords do not uh, do not impact the campaign, right? So if you guys have 5,000 negative keyword lists that you pulled off online and it just includes all this different thing, different stuff, make sure that it doesn't exclude your keywords. Make sure it doesn't exclude your locations, right? Like St. Louis and then all the different cities around it. Make sure it doesn't exclude those things. Um, a lot of times Google are gonna, is going to give you a recommendation here where it says, hey, the, there's a negative keyword impacting and conflicting the keyword. So that's totally okay. Um, you know, just go ahead and remove those, but make sure your negative keywords are not impacting your campaign. There's certain negative keywords that you're going to want in just across your campaign, you know, free and cheap and jobs and resume, unless you're targeting resumes and jobs and trying to get more employees. Um, but other than that guys, that's primarily it. What we see with our campaigns, why it's not getting clicks. One other thing I've seen guys is a construction company or some sort of consulting company that interlocks with a product. And shopping ads so make sure that you know if you're have a you have a service that's kind of uh, goes into both uh, on products and consultations um, make sure that you're not showing up for shopping ads sometimes I've seen that you know you're running responsive search ads and shopping ads actually pop up instead in that place um, that can actually impact the deliverable of your campaign and your ads is you got responsive search ads the other advertisers have uh, shopping ads and you're just not going to show up because there's different products. Google prefers a different advertise, adver, ad compared to another. So keep that in mind, guys. You can always do a quick Google search for your keywords. See what see what, see what shows up and then uh, go from there. So I hope this video is helpful, guys. If you do have any questions regarding your specific campaign or you're looking for a free audit, we do offer those at Max Conversion. We can look through your account uh, and tell you what we see, come up with a solution and a strategy for you. Um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more helpful Google Ads content.